is up you guys, it's PogoDude10, and this is my second Cinema 40 tutorial. Okay, so let's go into a little word thing and do a review. So last time we did text, colors, light, floors, and moving stuff. And as you remember, it was pretty simple. Um, today we're going to be going over shapes, layering text, and the freehand tool. Um, the freehand tool and layering text are kind of hard to explain. Shapes are kind of self-explanatory. Um, so let's go into our Cinema 4D and we'll go to this little thing with the cube. Click on it and you got cubes, cones, cylinders, spheres, lots of stuff. So let's do a sphere. Now, we got our sphere here. As you can see when we render it, it looks like a sphere. Um, now, for this, you can go to coordinates and you can change the size. It's the middle one, just like this. You can make it bigger. You can also make ovals out of this, as you saw. Just move it around. See? It's like an oval sphere kind of thing. Um, this is good if you want to make like a. Um, you want to put text on the front, looks kind of 3D and cool for that. Um, it's not like a full sphere, so it's easier to lay text on. Um, obviously, you got your coordinates, you can move that, moves. Um, so there's that. Um, you got an object, you can change the uh, radius, make it bigger. Segments, make it look like that, except when you render it still looks like that so you can make it look different now you got your little thing don't really know what to call it um, so that's our first part now let's go into layering text now for this what we're going to do is we're going to go into MoGraph MoText and we got our mo text. Um, I remember we had this last time, and we'll do hello. It's just an easy saying to do. Um, and we will get a font. Um, do my little Mountain Dew font. It's probably my favorite font. Um, if you guys want this font, I'll even put it in the uh, description on my next video but we're gonna change our depth to 100 and you'll see why in a second so we got our depth at 100 as you can see and our text says hello uh... make this a little bit bigger just so it's easier to see and now what we're gonna do is we're going to copy this so you're gonna hit control which is in the bottom left corner of your keyboard or if you live in Europe or Spain or somewhere, I don't know if it's different. And yeah, and then you're gonna hit Control, and then C, and then V. And you see this little thing popped up. Now, this is just another thing like that. Now, with this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our depth go down to 80. So as you can see, we're gonna go up like this. And you can see that this is highlighted. So you're going to move it right into the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but whatever. That's how that works. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Caps. And remember last time I told you that we would use this. So you're going to go to Cap on the start, and you're going to go to Fillet Cap. And on the end, you're also going to go Fillet Cap. And see this little thing that it does? makes it so there's like a little background thing and this looks even cooler with color and I'll show you just make two simple colors which we also learned last time we got a pink and got a yellow maybe cat clashing colors but whatever um so now it kinda has like that little background thing on it and this is what I meant by layering it I couldn't really find a better term for it but 
you know, whatever. It looks really cool. Um, you can use it in intros, sigs, doesn't really matter. Um, so there's that. Now, we're going to go into the freehand tool. What the freehand tool is, is right here. And you can pretty much just draw. What's cool about this, though, is that, so there's the freehand thing right there, is that you can add an extra NURBS. And we did this last time, if you remember. And there you go. Now it kind of has like that kind of weird look to it. Um, and that's what that is. So now, um, what I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to make a simple kind of abstract sig. So you're going to hit F5 at the top, and you get these. So what this is going to give you is the perspective, the top, the right, and the front. Okay, sorry, I had to cut off there. Um, so as I was saying, perspective, top, right, and front. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get your freehand tool, and you're going to draw some shapes in the perspective. You're going to draw one in the top, draw one in the right, and draw one in the front. So there's your shape. Now, what you're going to do it's going to get a loft nerves. Um, what that pretty much does is it makes it look like a big abstract shape. So you're going to hit this one right here, this button. It's going to go back. Now you got your shape. So what you can do with this shape is. So let's check this out. Um, You got your uh, little loft nerves thing. Um, you're gonna grab these two, and you're gonna group them, just like this. So you got your uh, thing. You're gonna go Control C, Control V. It's gonna duplicate. And then you're gonna do that one more time. C, V. And you got your uh, next objects. So let's do this. Now you got this, and you got this. Kind of makes like a nice little abstract looking shape. Let's make this 1280 by 720. And there we go. Got your shape. So, as you can see, it looks kind of weird. Create some new textures. We'll create a yellow, pink, and a light blue. There we go. So this one will be light blue, pink, and yellow. So now you got like a little weird looking shape thing. And now let's move on to the text. So for the text, um, you got a no graph. No text. Drag it out. Now what you're gonna do? It's gonna go into this tool. I showed you last time. And you're gonna do that to 90, like that. So now you're gonna move your text back to good distance. And okay, so there we go. So you got your text. As always, we'll get a font. Make it a little bit bigger. And let's make it 100. Just for easy use. And let's say hello. Okay. So, as you can see here, there you go. Um, as you can see here, we got our little thing. Um, let's add a color to it so it doesn't look so bland. And we'll do like a dark blue. Sure. Do that. There we go. Got our little thing. 
So I'll get into this 1280 by 720. Stay that way. Okay. So we got that. We got our save. We'll save it as a portable graphics image. And we're going to click on alpha channel. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it so it doesn't have a background. And your multi pass, anti aliasing. Change to best, 1x1, one 4x4, one, four four, keep it by that. And now, um, just let me save this quickly. There we go. Um, to the desktop, sure. Um, do this. To the screen. And, where is it? Here we go. See? So that's that. Um, so this concludes our second tutorial. As you can see, we learned shapes, layered text, and freehand. So uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and join FOD at clanfod.com. Peace.